it's that time again. Welcome on back, boys and girls. I got another tutorial for you today. Today I'm going to be sharing a bunch of tips to help you use the fill command, which will make your life a lot easier if you want to make some gigantic holes like this. Yeah. So guys, stick around if you want to know how to make this in just a couple seconds. Let's go. Alright guys, so the first one is one of my favorite ones, it has to do with fill, and fill is a super easy way to uh, get, rid of, get rid of a lot of stuff, but the easiest thing you can do, the coolest thing you can do with it, one of the coolest things is, get rid of a bunch of water. So if you want to get rid of a bunch of water from an area, you can go ahead and hit fill, and then type in tilde 15, which is just uh, the amount of distance you want to go in every direction. 15 is the maximum, because it'll tell you there's too many blocks if you do anything higher than 15. So do tilde 15, tilde 15, tilde 15 for X, Y, and Z, and then do the same thing but backwards. So negative 15, uh, negative 15, and negative 15. Make sure you get all those tildes and negative signs in the right places. Um, so it's the three positive ones and the three negative ones, and then it's the block you want to replace the water with, which is of course going to be air, air. So then you go ahead and type in that, and then you can go ahead and type in uh, replace, because we want to replace uh, uh, air with water. So you go ahead and hit that enter and now all the water goes away now you can see it only re replaced it with air in 15 blocks so you have to go around and you'll just go ahead and just hit the um, command button and then hit up on your arrow keys and then hit enter once again you can get rid of all that water now this water right here on the seagrass you might have to break some of the seagrass to get to work all nice and properly but there you go you see the seagrass it stores the water guys it stores the water keeps it nice and and, and water refresh so if you want to go ahead what you can do is you can go ahead and do the same thing but type in seagrass and do that first, and then this guy right here, which is, uh, yeah, that's seagrass. So we just go ahead and get, no, uh, mm, mm, that's tall seagrass, that's why. So you have to do a regular, for, sea, for regular seagrass, you go ahead and just do the same thing. So seagrass, and then there's tall seagrass, right? Yeah, there we go. So tall seagrass, and then get rid of the tall ones. And you see the tall ones over here? Uh, uh, tall seagrass gone. Little seagrass gone. And now we can do the water, and all that should work properly there we go so that's how you clear a bunch of water from from a specific area you can do that as many times as you need to to get rid of all the water as you can see it will cause a little bit of lag that's fine though because uh it's definitely worth it and not having to clear this out by hand just give it a couple seconds and it'll be back to your regular frames per second pretty sweet another super useful command is actually to use the fill tool to delete things so instead of going air replace water we can go air uh replace uh we can just maybe actually just do air destroy really and then type that and then you can see oh 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 so as you can see this this may not be the best way to do the destroy function because what it's gonna do is create this in, insane lag and destroy every single block within 15 directions of every single direction so to the left to the right up and down so you see yeah that's gonna cause some lag yeah, it's, there's a lot of blocks on the ground right now, guys. It's just, it's too much. Minecraft doesn't know what to do. Oh, it's coming back into focus, guys. It's coming back into focus. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. That sound is so satisfying. Now, as you can see, this is a giant, giant hole. But like I mentioned, it took a lot away from uh, your computer. And my computer's pretty, uh, pretty beefy. And it just took quite a bit of time to come back into focus here. So let's try this one more time. And the easier thing we can do is actually just go ahead and replace all the blocks. Now, it's actually not easier, but it doesn't cause much lag whatsoever. So we go ahead and do the same exact thing we just did, uh, which is, I gotta type it again because I had to leave and come back. Uh, till day 15, till day 15, uh, 15, till day negative, negative, negative. And then we go ahead and choose air because we want to replace uh, with air. So then we'll choose air to replace. Uh, first of all, we'll do grass block. So we can just do... Uh, grass block right there And now you can see that makes a terrible sound causes a little bit of lag and then it's over with because it broke all the grass and the grass blocks Now cool thing is we can just go ahead and just replace this grass block with the word dirt And then we hit that and now it replaced all the dirt the same thing with the stone You can see how this is a little bit easier the stone might take a little bit longer You can see there we go now we have all the other materials in here if you don't move It'll be the same exact thing so we'll just go ahead and do uh, and a site there we go and then we can do granite same thing, right? And then we just keep hitting this up arrow over and over again until we get rid of all of it. Now, this is obviously a much more time-consuming way to do this because the other way, you know, it causes a lot of lag. But, you know, both ways are very, very cool ways to do it. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's definitely, you know, still a viable option. You can go ahead and get rid of all this stuff, the diorite and the iron and everything. You can see how that'll be the same exact thing as if you were to do it this way. 
just without all the lag. So a way to fix that problem of lag with using either one of those two options that I just- Oh, pink sheep! Check it out! Cool. A really cool way of getting rid of some of that lag from either of those two options that I just previously showed you is to do something pretty cool. So hit uh, your slash on your keyboard or your default uh, uh, command button and then go ahead and type in game rule. And then after you do that, type in uh, do and then tile drops. You can hit tab to complete that uh, sentence there. Now if you uh, make a space and type in false, you can see that uh, if I were in survival mode and I broke something, so if I go ahead and go game mode, survival, break something, that nothing uh, drops, which means no tile drops wrong, which means you cannot actually get any items, which is uh, really cool, because if we were to go ahead and do that same fill command, uh, then it would not actually drop any items, which will cause much less lag than it did before. Hello, Mr. Pink Sheep, how are you doing? You're looking good today, aren't you? So if we type in air destroy, you can see that it'll still cause a bunch of lag, but... Oh, Mr. Pink Sheep, I'm sorry I didn't mean to. <gasps> Mr. Pink Sheep, I I apologize. You're so rare. It's like a 0.5% chance that I killed him. Anyway, guys, so you can see how much quicker that was because the tile drops are not on. Minecraft was lagging a lot because of all the blocks that it dropped. So, yeah, much easier way to get that done. Oh, and by the way, if you do happen to turn tile drops off, Make sure you turn it back on once you want to start mining stuff again. Nothing more frustrating than mining a bunch of diamonds and not getting nothing out of it. So we have another cool way we can use the fill command. Uh, we do, of course, the first beginning part always the same. Fill, till day 15, till day 15, till day 15, and then the exact same thing, but negatives in front of the number 15. And then we can go ahead and type in the block that we want to use, which in my case is going to be stone. And then we can go ahead and type in a uh, hollow and then hit enter. Oh, man. Now you can see... This has now created a big hollow stone box. Now this box uh, is completely, it's completely hollow, obviously because we're you know we're standing inside of it. And on the outside of it, it looks really cool because it's just like a giant cube. So if we light this up, if we go around here, you can make like super big structures. And as you can see, it's still it still kind of loads in. So every time you place a block near it, it's like oh wait, there's blocks here now because you just placed a bunch of blocks at the same time. So give it a second, you know, it might give it a little bit of lag, but you can see it goes all the way up here because it gets uh, 15 blocks up, 15 blocks down, left, right, and all different directions. We were standing about right here, then it dropped us down because there was no more blocks left. So if I, if I bust on out of here, you can see this is a gigantic cube here. Check that out. Look how cool that is. It's like the biggest thing right there. And this one over here, this one actually isn't hollow. So if you do the same exact thing, and don't type in hollow, you can see that uh, it, it'll just create a big giant stone block. And if you break a block, you can see that we're, we are now inside of this giant, not hollow stone cube. And, uh, and that is that. So that's how you make some giant cubes that are, you know, really pretty sweet actually. Hollow ones, and not so much hollow ones. <laughs> yeah, check that out. So, let's say you want to clear an entire area of grass, and you don't want to go ahead and just, you know, like, break them all and put down the water, do the water trick. You don't want to do all that, because it just takes too much time. So, that's okay. Just go ahead and type in fill, and then, of course, our trusty, dusty, same exact thing here with the negatives and the negatives. There we go. Then we go ahead and type in air, once again, and we go replace, and then we type in grass, and then hit enter. Now you can see all that grass is just out the way. Now you can see the double tall grass is still here. So we can go and do the same thing. And instead of just grass, we'll type in tall grass and then hit tab. Get rid of that other word grass and hit enter. Now all that tall grass is out of the way too. So now you can go ahead and just get all this stuff out the way. Ready for your building, building adventures. There we go. Look at that. Perfectly nice and gorgeous. You know, this mountain looks really pretty cool, but I really kind of want to replace all the dirt with stone. So let's go ahead and do that. Kind of the same way we just did it with the grass, we can do the same thing with stone, we can type in, uh, not air, but guess what? Dirt replace stone. Now you can see all of the dirt has now been placed in where the stone is. If we flip that around, you can see, and if I type dirt second, we want to go ahead. An easy way to remember which way around it goes is you want to use stone to replace the dirt. Boom. Check that out. Now we can go ahead and do the same exact thing uh, with grass block. Gla grass underscore block. Now if there's two words, it's always going to be a space. If it's one word, it's just going to be one space. Check that out. Super cool.
And you don't have to think of this as just a thing to make like big scale projects or replace a bunch of blocks. You can just use this as a simple mining tool. You can scroll on down here and you can see if I go ahead and just dig this out over and over again, we can have a pretty cool mining technique going on here. Now let me go ahead and drop this down from five to two. So that means two blocks in every direction. We'll go ahead and have a five by five radius here. So if I go ahead and hit that, you can see drop straight on down. We'll do the same thing again again and then we can start going up a little bit so i'll i'll uh jump up two blocks here so we'll go one two and then we can go ahead and go over now so if i go over the two blocks you can see that now we can start making a nice little tunnel we just go ahead and just jump up two blocks every single time and then break those and jump up two blocks every single time and break those now since we're going ahead and uh only using two blocks at the time like i said 15 is the maximum so you can actually go ahead and i don't i can't recall which direction it is so if we go ahead and fill uh two let's do uh, two twelve and then two twelve i think that's the wrong way wait is it the wrong way nope yeah it's down <laughs> well that's down so you can see the second value is down so what's the first value the first value is side to side if i believe so we go ahead and do that one see what that one does yep that one's side to side all right so sweet so whatever direction you're looking in is the direction it's going to do it so if we're if we're looking this way right here the third value is forward and backwards so let's go ahead and replace that one more time now we got two on all of these and the second the last one here is 12. so if we do that the third one now goes forwards and backwards you can go ahead and just fly in the air all day long and just keep on moving straight it's kind of kind of dark though but you know yeah, just you know, don't worry about it being dark, you know, it's fine. Don't worry about it. You'll, 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 you'll be perfectly fine. And then when we turn around, you can see, oh, when we turn around, you can see this long, giant tunnel that we've just created here. Now, so let me go ahead and grab some glowstone real quick. You can just light it up real quick. There we go. Check it out. So we got a pretty cool tunnel you can do for some easy mining rooms, some giant, giant, long tunnels. I don't know what you'd be doing, but you'd be doing something good, and this is going to help you out. So that is pretty much it for our fill commands tutorial. Helpful, helpful tips about the fill command, which is one of my favorites. I really wish I had this in my survival world, but that's the great thing about, you know, being, being able to do stuff in other worlds and building these big giant projects. You could use cheats, you could use creative mode. It's great. It really is great. Because my friends, if I had this in my survival world, man, it would have saved me for so much digging. But I'll see you boys and girls in the next. Oh, I hit, I hit a wall. I'll see See you guys in the oh I hit another wall. Oh, I'm now I'm up and close and personal. Um uh, okay, I'm I'm in this video out nice and ASMR. Okay. Hello guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Give me a slippity. Oh, I'm not close up anymore. Uh, give me a slippy slap on the hopper. And I'll see you guys later.